Hello everybody, uh, my name is Eddie Thrower and you are watching Sound Advice. Today I'm going to talk about uh, an exercise that I love. It's also a feel and that's the whole point of the this little video series that I'm going to do with you guys. Basically taking something from the pad to the drum kit basically because that's... Pad stuff can be quite boring and it's always nice to know that there is an end goal, whether that be you're going to work on sort of dynamics or control or speed or whatever it may be, things that are going to help with your hand and that stick in your hand, which we all like to work on, speed being one of them. But it's always nice to know that you can use this in other ways, not just on the pad, not just for getting your hands warmed up or not just for focusing on one of those few things that I mentioned. So today we're going to do something um, which I love and which I do all the time, which is combining two rudiments. And that is an amazing thing to do, not only for creativity when you get bored of one rudiment, um, but also for dynamic speed control, all of these things. I love doing that. So you've got eight notes here and eight notes there, but you're playing them differently. And the aim of the game is to either make them sound both the same or mess around with a few accents and dynamics. So if you're bored of playing one rudiment, just take another rudiment that has the same note value and put them together. So for example, in this one, we are going to do two paradiddles and then two inverted paradiddles. Uh, I'm going to show you on the beautiful real feel pad. I'm currently using my 5A Shirakashi Oak Sticks. In the next video, I'm going to show you a warm-up exercise with my Popeye Sticks. But um, this is how I have taken this pad exercise and I have and, and how I have moved onto the kit. But basically, this is what I do before I play live. I love this combination, and I'll explain why in a second. So, the first bit, two paradiddles. So, a paradiddle, I think everyone is familiar with the paradiddle. You've got right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, and all we're gonna do is accent the one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we just play that whole thing twice. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. With those ones, you kind of wanna be rim-shotting the pad. And then with the other notes, the doubles, you want to be playing with the tip of the stick. That's how you sort of create that fluidity and that motion, and that visual motion that looks really good when you play this feel live. So that's the first half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two lots of eights, 16 notes. Um, the second half is two inverted paradiddles. So 16 notes again. An inverted paradiddle is right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. I'm out of breath. Um, now, what I do to remember rudiments as a little side note to this is I inject some melody into it straight away because it helps me remember it. I don't read music, I've got a very short attention span, I'm dyslexic, so looking at things, reading things just doesn't work for me. So, what I try to do, inject some melody. Ba, ba, ba. So the accent, the one, the first right, ba, 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 and then we're going to accent one, two, three, four, five, the four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the whole exercise, you've got two paradiddles, two inverted paradiddles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Brilliant, fantastic, Bob's your uncle. Um, at this point, I don't actually play along to the click because I feel like, for me, it's all about maintaining a consistent level of enjoyment and fun. When I put the click on, at this very early stage, it's just too serious. I know a lot of people may not agree with that, but it's too serious at this point. I just want to learn a new rudiment, get used to it straight away, and then that makes me feel good. That, that maintains a good level of um, enjoyment with learning, maintaining that good relationship with learning, as opposed to sitting with a click and looping it for a million, a million times in a row, which never works for me. So another thing that I don't do is loop at this beginning stage. I play it once, give myself a breather, play it again, and then Bob's your uncle, I start looping it as it soaks into my muscle memory. Do you know what I mean? Because I find when I loop stuff, I don't know, all it does is convince me that I can't do it. I can, I just can't loop it a million times in a row. So the whole exercise, one more time, is paradiddle, 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 in, inverted. And then stop, think about something else, maybe speed it up. Brilliant. Sweet. 
and you can see already how that is going to work on the drum kit. Um, so this is like the very, very early stages of what I do on the pad. Um, just get used to how the rudiment sounds, how a sticking sounds, inject some melody within to it, like ba 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 It just helps you remember it as opposed to visualizing or reading right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. Um, so that's what I do. And yet again, small consistent periods of practice helps me so much more than sitting here for like an hour on the pad. I just want to maintain that good relationship with learning. So I'm going to play it. And then think about what I'm going to have for dinner in the evening and then just sweet, I'll give it another go. And then before you know it, you are actually looping it without realizing. And the point that I move away from an exercise or move it onto the kit um, is when I know it's soaked into my muscle memory to the point where I don't have to think about what's going on. And I can talk to you guys, talk to whoever, talk to myself, which is probably the, the thing I actually do in lockdown. Um, so I've got the exercise here. I'm just talking to you guys about what I'm gonna have for dinner. Yeah, I might have that. Cool, sweet. And I can play around with how many times I loop each section and things like that. I can speed it up, I can slow it down. Now the next step is definitely getting a click out and, and getting getting it tight, do you know what I mean? Because sometimes these exercises are actually a hell of a lot easier to play fast. Playing like slow to a click is, is actually really difficult. It's very much um, underestimated, I think is the right word. So that's what I do. That is the beginning stages of learning anything on the pad. I just pair two combinations, two rudiments, two stickings that have the same note value, eight here, eight here, 16 here, 16 there. I either try to make them sound exactly the same. The perfect example of that is singles into doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double, 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 double. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double, double, double. Do they sound the same? No, of course they don't. They're never gonna sound the same, but that's a really cool thing to do. Eight and eight, but you're playing them differently, trying to match the sound, trying to match the dynamics. Faster. It's near impossible to make them sound the same, but it's a really fun game to play because you're focusing on consistency, dynamics, fluidity, all of these things. Changing from using your wrist to fingers to wrist to fingers, shocking that muscle memory, getting used to that stick, getting used to the bounce of the stick. So a very simple exercise like doubles into singles helps massively. Um, but going back to the exercise that I've just taught you, that's what I do. So just dive in and out of consistent practice, inject some melody within it, uh, play it a few times, then eventually start to loop it, speed it up, slow it down with a click. Also play along to some music, just get used to it. Get it into that muscle memory before we move over to the drum kit, because I tell you what, if it's not in your muscle memory and you're sort of doubting it, as soon as you play it on the kit and you hear a crash, or a kick, or a hi-hat, and you're, you're trying to move that rudiment around the kit, and it's not in, soaked into your muscle memory, you're gonna make mistakes, and it's just gonna put you back mentally to when you first learned the exercise, you know what I mean? You can play it, it's just not fully soaked into your muscle memory yet, so when you're hearing different things on the kit, you're gonna make a mistake. You wanna get to that point where you're not <laughs> thinking about what's going on down there, you know what I mean? You can just talk, 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 move around on the pad, and then Bob's your uncle, mate. So that's what it looks like for me. That's what I do in here. That's what I do at home. That's what I do on the sofa when I'm watching Netflix at night. That's what I do in a dressing room. Just dive in and out. Try and keep some fun. Pair combinations. Try to create something that sounds melodic on here first. So when you do move over to the kit, it's an instant sort of banger. You're like, oh, sweet. So not only is this exercise affecting speed, dynamics, control, fluidity, all of those amazing things, um, it's also a very melodic and interesting and fun feel. You might not be able to play the feel if you're drumming for a big pop act because you're, most of the time you're just playing a solid bat beat. But I tell you what, if you want to sit down at the kit and explore the kit and come up with really cool combinations that's going to basically allow you to play the kit for longer because it's fun, and that is the key, ladies and gents. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Primark and Edmonds, for making the best products in the flipping world. Thank you very much for spending some time with me today. Check me out on social media. I love the drums, mate.